So ADR stands for adenoma detection rate, and it was initially proposed by the U.S. Multi-Society Task Force in 2002. In response to information that was emerging in the 1990s that colonoscopy, in fact, was quite variable in how uh, well people detected polyps. This came from what were called tandem studies, but the adenoma detection rate is formally uh, defined as the percentage of people age 50 and older undergoing their first screening colonoscopy who have one or more conventional adenomas. It's not recommended to include sessile serrated polyps or sessile serrated adenomas. Those two terms are synonymous because there's a lot of variability between uh, pathologists in their identification of sessile serrated polyps versus hyperplastic polyps. So if we include those, we start measuring what the pathologist is doing and not the uh, endoscopist. There's also a very good correlation between detection of conventional adenomas and sessile serrated polyps. So uh, that's what the ADR uh, is. And it's been validated as a predictor of the risk of cancer after colonoscopy, what we call interval cancers or post-colonoscopy uh, cancers. And since that's the whole idea, most of the time is to prevent people from getting cancer. That's why the ADR has emerged and is now established as the most important quality indicator in colonoscopy. Not everybody is measuring it yet in the United States, um, but more and more people have joined in uh, this measurement process. Yeah, so my own approach uh, to making a decision about endocuff vision would be probably that everybody uh, should use it. Meta-analyses have suggested that uh, the people who benefit the most are low-level detectors. However, I think those meta-analyses are influenced by one study in particular that was that was done uh, with a higher distribution of high-level detectors. In our own randomized controlled trial uh, using endocuff, which uh, was performed by high-level detectors, high-level detectors also benefited. You have to keep in mind that we have these um, thresholds that we talk about for the ADR, 30% in men, 20% uh, in women, 25% for a mixed gender patient population. And those thresholds should be viewed as minimum thresholds. And we really should start to talk more about the concept of not just a minimum threshold ADR, but an aspirational ADR. So I think across the board for both uh, low and high detectors that because of the gains in detection as well as the efficiency gains that we've discussed that the use of endocuff vision is a, is a strong consideration.